Dude, is this real life? Did I find a construction site somewhere? Look at this. Back on road. He got out? Great shot. <laughs> All right, guys, Tobacco Road, a must play here in North Carolina, as everybody says. Took a little detour off the Pinehurst series to come over here. We played Pinehurst number two this morning. It was a gem. Now we've got the daunting task of this difficult golf course, Tobacco Road. We've never played it. We heard there's a lot of blind shots. And you know what? We're fighting daylight. We tee off at three, sun goes down at eight. Can we get this whole thing in? We're going to boogie and we're going to see if we can. Let's go. What do you see from the air? It's nuts. Yeah. Like bunkers that like I don't you would need like a ladder to get out of. <laughs> there you go. There's no out of bounds. You can find that you can play it. And there's no rakes anywhere on the golf course. So all sand anywhere, even if it looks like a sand trap beside the green, is waste. Okay. Lift clean in place, ground your club, and tape practice swings, no penalty. Alright, got my sunblock, my beach chair. Time to go. Well, they sure know how to start you off with a tee shot here. Look at this. Got to go between the two cliffs. Look at this place. Whoa. Mike, I'm standing over your ball and I don't even see it. Where is it's it? It's over here. That just goes to show okay. you what we're in for. Look at this. That's gnarly right there. Well, Tobacco Road, it's not just the bunkers you gotta worry about here, it's this stuff. There it's out. Okay. 36 holes. All the energy I can get, man. It's brutal playing 36, especially number two followed by Tobacco Road. All right, the story today is gonna be blind shots. Jerry, the starter, was saying how uh, even on 16, you cannot even see the fairway from the tee box. There's a black pipe there, he says, you have to use as your line. But middle of the fairway here, cannot see the green, but I got an idea of where it is. And uh, I'm gonna try to reach this par five and two. We got 205 to the hole. Right through the chute, dude, towards the green. That was the best hybrid you've ever hit in your life, like in the moment. You needed to do it's exactly- It's nice when you can't that. see your target. Yeah. <laughs> Swing and pray. You play great with lightning fast greens and blind shots. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's your thing. game. That's my thing. Oh, oh, look at the hole. Oh, oh my god. Dude. Oh, dude. Uh, that, that's close. Come on, let's go check that. That's close. Yeah, I was out on that uh, mound over there. I really thought Frank was going to friggin' hole it. <laughs> but hit the front of the green, front of the green, came in way too hot and just shot off the back. Ah, Bummer. Looks good for a moment. Oh, oh yeah. Look at that thing slide, man. It's gonna slide down, come on. Mm, all right, good par. See, the unique thing here is I love the name of the tee boxes. You've got the ripper, then what we're playing, the disc, the plow, the points, and then the cultivator. So that's pretty cool. And we're playing the disc at 6,300 yards. 229 straight out to carry this sand. Not a long haul. Great shot. All right, so a lot of you actually hit us up in the DMs before we went out here saying, if it's your first time, get the book. So we took your advice, we got the book, and I love you open it up to designer Mike Strands. The first thing it says is, I don't care if people think my courses are too hard. You gotta <laughs> love that. But it was cool, because last night we were actually at the Pinehurst Brewing Company, and we ran into another guy who flies drone for golf, and he had played here, and he said, here's how it's gonna go. He goes, this is what it was for him. He said, the first time you played Tobacco Road, you were going to hate it. Obviously blind shots, you know everything. He goes, you're gonna hate it. The second time you're gonna be like, okay. He goes, but the third time, you're in love. So I think that's what it comes down to is just 
blind shots and getting used to where the layout of the course is. So we're gonna use our yardage book and we're gonna, uh, we're gonna try to make sure we're firing at the right greens out here today. Well, this is a doozy. Dude, look how high that lip is. That's insane. All right, you gotta get it up and over, man. And it's on a downhill lot. Everything's working in your favor. Oh, nice shot. Yeah, man. Come on back. It'll roll back. Come nope, on. Nope, the fringe caught it. No. Uh, uh, oh. Yep. Stop. Fringe caught it. That was tough. Yeah, get out. I'll tell you what, playing number four, number two, number three, it's a good warm up because my wildest dreams, I never would have thought I would have got out of there with a, uh, a bogey four from that lie. But I'll tell you what, you play a lot of hard golf courses and you uh, try to rise to the occasion, I guess. I feel like I'm in World War One. Seriously, look at this. You know, it's like. <laughs> Don't get in there. Left it short. Don't wimp out, Frank. I think we're in for a break. There's no sand on this hole. Good thing. There's no sand. Nice and neat. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at this. Well, depending on the number, Mike, wherever you want to kind of hit it over here to have an approach at the green, you've got a couple of different options. There's my option. The green. <laughs> yep. Well, okay. 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 <laughs> All right, here comes the first chiropractor special in North Carolina. Did I do that last time? There it is. Wind it up. Warm it up. Oh, my God. Where is it? You're going to be fine. You're going to be in the fairway way, way right. <laughs> it, was about a, it was about a 250 shot with 200 yards of curve. <laughs> Horrible shot. Yeah. Okay, Frank taking the more conservative route, which I like. I don't want anything to do with that. I one. don't blame you. Yeah, dude. You're conservative? Far right? You made the hole longer, but you're hitting on a fairway. Oh, yeah, what fairway are? It's just a little longer wedge in. 109 up that hill. Look at that false front. Yeah, false front. Definitely play your middle number or your back number. Get up, get up. Okay, we're up there. Thankfully I'm not in here, but I don't know if you can tell the scale on the video, so I gotta show you guys this, how deep these bunkers are. Look at this. Can you imagine? We're hidden in here. You don't so even know where the green is. <laughs> Long birdie putt. Ooh, wrong way. Just like over at Pinehurst, you can be on there putting for birdie and walk out of there with a bogey quicker than you can imagine. And you went left, okay. Lucky enough. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Hit the top of the hill and went in. The top of the hill and rolled into you you another be, bunker. I told you, you got to be right on Yo, your number. Roll the, 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 the beeps right now. Ugh. You got a bit of an approach shot ahead of you. This is the scariest approach shot I think I've ever faced in my entire life. You have an enormous bunker on the right and an enormous bunker on the left, but the green is huge. Problem is if you end up on the right side of this green, forget it. You're making it like an eight, easily. Oh, be good, be good. Oh, yes! Woo! Whew, that's tough, man. I'm on there. This is like those courses when every hole could be the featured hole. It's, it's wild because every time, it's experiencing it for the first time, every time Mike and I round the corner to another tee box, we just say, wow, yet another stunning and challenging hole. And now we've got a par three that's playing about 170. Incredibly challenging green. Anything, you know, short of the pin is way, way down that hill. And you just want to be up on that upper tier. But as you can see, you miss anywhere, you're, you're on the beach. Oh no. That thing just unlocked. What the hell is the chance of that? <laughs> Everyone says Zach's quick. Dude, nice work. 
We're not calling him Flash. Not slow mo anymore. We're gonna call now him Flash. Now he's Flash Gordon. <laughs> that was wild. That was wild. Guys, I want to I want to bring you here with me to see how beautiful this is in person. Everywhere you look, walking this little ridge line here, stunning in both directions. Amazing. This ninth hole, wait till you see the approach shot. We're talking way elevated bunkers with huge steps to get out all right. Thanks. And also, one of the smallest, thinnest greens I have ever seen on a golf course. Really? Literally. Wow. The target here is going to be so small. <laughs> okay. So. Well, thanks. Good thanks luck. You set me up for that. No. As soon as I hit it, you know, you just know. Hey, make sure you adjust for slope on this approach shot. 156 playing 165. Good it thing. is way up that hill. Yep. One more club. Indeed. Yes, get up there. Get up, yes. Get up, get up, get up. Yes, yes. You're up. <sighs> I gotta tell you, Frank, we're pretty good on time. It's 5.30, we just made the turn, we're on 10 and uh, two and a half hours until the sun goes down. We did two and a half on the front. It's gonna be really close. We might be putting in the dark on 18, but we're not at 18 yet, we're at 10. And look, I got the Jersey Shore in front of me. Okay, it's ridiculous. All beach. Oh yes. That's gonna play so well on this hole. Oh yes. And it's gonna run right from that hill. Yeah, you're dead. Silky smooth. Dead middle of the fairway. Great shot, dude. Great shot. I'm glad you went with driver. You hit the ball further than I did. It's still going to the middle of the fairway. Still let it roll, let it roll. That's so great. <laughs> Good smooth swing, dude. You do the swing smooth when you're tired. Oh yeah, right? If you couldn't tell by my reaction, I wanted the birdie there. Birdies here feel like eagles anywhere else. Such a tough course. It's a short par five, huh? <laughs> well, when you look at the watch, it's 300 to a par five, but that's because this is a complete U-turn here. Oh, it's one of those. The, the, the green, you'd have to be the bravest person ever, is somewhere there, <laughs> right? Yep. But uh, you take a look here, really, what you, you can go as, pretty much as far as you want. You got 300 to that tree. You wanna come out here, and then hopefully not be blocked out, but you're gonna have a long carry over sand if you wanna go for it in two. Okay. So, very deceiving. Yes! Just don't fade too don't much. Don't fade too much, you're gonna be with me. Primo real estate. Remember how we said those approach shots just keep getting harder and harder? Look at this, it looks like the actual earth is scarred. <laughs> That's the only way that I can describe this. Short and you're dead. Yeah, this is one of those close your eyes and pray. It's working nice. That is a beaut. It's up there. Okay, Frank likes the hybrid play as well. Oh, oh no. It, trying to get all of it. Dude, is this real life? Did I find a construction site somewhere? Look at this. Tobacco Road. He got out. Great shot. <laughs> all right, he's got an eagle look here. It's a long look. Gotta lag it gonna go right and then it's gonna come back left once it goes over the hill here it comes turn 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 turning a little bit look at that oh, that's a great birdie leave let's go bang it down no break oh. at all great shot I tell you what, not all approach shots are uh, a disaster. Hit that uh, pitching wedge there, 125, pretty well. We got a birdie pot, baby. Yeah, 
The chase is on. Let's go. All right, talk to me about this shot, hey, Frank. How about it, this shot? That looks ridiculous. There's a little like doorway to the green here. It's protected on the right and the left, and then the green kind of sits in this little bowl. So you've got to get it up and over and into that bowl. <laughs> Good so luck. let's see. Let's go, man. Stick it. I got a hundred, about a hundred and ten shot here. I think it got in there. Yeah, I think, I think you're it's okay. in the bowl. I think you're in the bowl. <laughs> Nice try. Yep. Yep. Dude, can it go in the hole? Wow. Dude, great shot. That one felt good. It hit that hill left and just rolled down. I just needed to roll a little bit more, man. So I'm still a golfer without an ace. Why couldn't it just keep rolling? <sighs> all right, knock it in. Got to give it a little more, I guess. It's all it needed. That's it. That's There's all it needed. There's a little bit more. Great Come birdie. On. Second birdie of the day. All right, time check, man. 16th hole. Right? Signature hole. Signature hole. And I'll tell you what, this is a huge risk reward. You can either lay up or you can try to cut that corner and go for it. But I'll tell you what, 716. The light is starting to dip beneath those trees. We've got three holes left. Let's go. All right, Mike, I'm going to go three wood. They say if you're gonna, if you're not gonna go for the green, your your line is that pipe straight out in the distance. And I tell you what, I'm not going for that green. <laughs> brilliant, mate. <laughs> that is brilliant. So I'm not listening to that. He's not worried about those strategic yardages. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're trying to beat daylight. Mike's going for the green. I think that's our horn. Who else is ringing bells out here? We're the last tea time. I'd, I'd say go for it. Yeah, right. Oh my god, are you on? Is that for me? I think so. <laughs> on the green? Am I on that green? Come on, let's go up there. What Drive. happened? Drive came over the left side of these traps. There's a heavy slope in the middle of the green. It rode the slope all the way down and you came down right here. Oh! oh. <laughs> like Passed the hole about this pin. far away. All We're right. going nuts. This class like, why? Are they going nuts for me? Well, like they can't be yelling for <laughs> us. That can't be. Well, we hit three balls that came back down. That's what took us so long. Oh, no, dude. Oh. So you hit that slope and you came Whatever all the way did, down. Whatever you did, not hit it. Your shot would spin right now. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's wild. That was awesome, though. Oh, thanks, guys. <laughs> but this, ladies and gentlemen, is the less dramatic way to play the hole with the, the layup here. It's the right way to okay. play the hole. Okay. <laughs> this is the, the boring way to play the hole. That looks good. Get up. Be enough. Oh. Stay up. Yeah, you're up there. Yes. All right, great shot. Great shot. Yeah, you're getting the applause from the gallery up there. Nice. That's not a putter I see in your hands, is it? Well, he said, you know, don't hit anything that's gonna create backspin. And with my steepness, all my wedge is backspin, and it's just gonna have the same effect. I'm gonna be down here again for shot three, and I don't want that. So I know that I have a backstop that's gonna roll. I'm just gonna blast this putter. Just like that, Texas wedge, baby. You know, I thought I was happy with my birdie putt here. This guy, it's, it's, it's basically a gimme range, but we, we can't give it to you. We gotta play this out. It does bend, I yeah. see it from here. I'm not. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm happy with the par on this hole. That's a tough hole. Did that just happen? <laughs> Wow, one hole, and that's all the action you need for a day. That's incredible. But what's up? We got two holes left. We got almost no sun. 7.30. Let's go. Oh, no. Stay out of it. Kick right. Oh, it Trap. kicked left. Go in. Go in. Go in. Go in. And up and down. All right, I, I would say we got about 15 minutes left of daylight. We're just waiting for them to ring the bell so we know that that fairway is clear because this course does not give up. Yet another one where you cannot see the fairway. Okay, yes, above and beyond that huge 
what would you even call that? A bluff? I don't know. No, I don't <laughs> a even know. Dune? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Beyond that is a fairway, but the good news is, Mike, if you go, it is going to be a dog leg left. The, the clubhouse is over there and the, the green is over there, but straight out, according to the yardage book, you can go as far as 300 straight before you run into trouble. Cool. So it's just a matter of just putting it up there straight, getting the fairway, and you give you a shot in. Dude, let's see if we beat this light. <sighs> We're going to do it. Come on. Oh, yeah, man. Great shot. Dude. Look, Look at, at the moon. Oh yeah. All right, we got it in, dude. Nice that job, right? Tobacco Road in the book. Super excited about this video. It might be one of our best yet, guys. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.